In order to access Simmons, go to library.lmu.edu. Once you're in, you will see there is a search bar, type Simmons. It should pull up the reference file. Sometimes our library site can be a little slow. It's two buttons here. One is if you click about this collection, there's some other useful information in here, user guide, overview, questionnaire booklets. I highly recommend familiarizing yourself with the questionnaire booklets just to see how the questions are written. In order to access the portal, click Simmons Insight. Um, what it'll probably do is take you to an LMU login page, log in, you'll click proceed. Um, and sometimes that whole process can take um, even up to a couple of minutes. Uh, this is the page that you will find yourself on. First thing I'm gonna do is, in, is instruct us to click this dictionary search to change our views. Once we are in dictionary search, I'm gonna orient us a little bit. Let's first start with the studies. NHCS, National, I think it's Hispanic or Household Consumer, Surveys, there's six month and 12 month, and they go back by year, 2017, 16, 15, 14. The academic subscription, we have three year old data. So the 2017 six month study will be the most recent to us available data. Half of the 25,000 person sample. The 12 month study will be the full 25,000 ish person sample. Let's do the six month study, although more often than not, I recommend doing a 12 month study. Um, so that's where we pick the study. Uh, let's talk a little bit about columns and rows. Columns, so I have some notes over here that you can follow along. Columns is where you enter the, the variable about the thing that you wanna know about, the thing that you wanna study. And in the rows, and that could include a brand or a target or a state or a consumer demographic, um, and in the rows are what do you want to know about that thing in the columns? I think this will become clear as we go through this. Let's go over to the search bar. The search bar is where we search for things. Down here, what we're searching for are these are topics and questions, and over here will be answers. Let's look at lifestyle and demographics. Something to point out here, personal, uh, personal information versus H. Personal is at the respondent level. H represents household, where that respondent, what they respond to on the questionnaire represents their entire household. An example, um, gender, as we will see right here, is at the personal level, right? So the person responding to this survey can only be a male or a female, um, although that person can respond at a household level, for example, how much toilet paper do they buy, what kind of toilet paper, or what kind of laundry detergent. Those items are typically bought at a household level. Other items, household items like makeup, might be bought at the individual level. So the study will usually indicate if it's household level with an H. Once you click the general category, for example, demographics, you'll see a variety of within that questions. What is your gender? What is your age? What is your race? Once you can, uh, these become the answers, male or female. Uh, if you want to search for something, um, you might be able to search, for example, gender. And then in here, it'll say, uh-oh, no, no answers found. Well, that's because right now it's answers only. There's no answer in the study that has gender, but there are questions and answers. And so if we were to click all with the word gender, so meaning that this is gonna search for questions and answers, we will once again be presented with this information. 